We're joined now by uh, Dr. Bomsi Yaganti. He's a cardiologist at St. Mark's Hospital Heart Center. Dr. Yaganti, studies have shown that people are staying home with emergent health care needs in light of concerns around COVID-19 at hospitals. So first of all, what do we mean when we say emergent health care needs? So as far as cardiology goes, uh, emergent um, health care needs can include diagnosis of uh, having heart attack, uh, congestive heart failure, having rhythm issues. Um, um, and th these are the three you know, broad categories uh, from cardiology perspective. So even with the return of elective surgeries or procedures now and lifting of some restrictions, do you find that people are still wary about coming into the hospital given all that's going on? Absolutely. Um, and uh, I think that's uh, uh, an uh, important message that, you know, we need to uh, uh, give to the community is that coming to the hospitals is uh, safe. We are taking all precautions to keep both the patient and uh, healthcare personnel uh, safe. Um, and the downside of not coming to the hospital with anything which qualifies as cardiac emergency is uh, much higher than the COVID infection, you know, itself. Yeah, that makes sense. But still, people are feel fearful. So, what is your advice to them to help them get over that so that they can get into the hospital and get the help that they need? So, uh, there are two aspects of, uh, you know, uh, cardiac care. Uh, no, the first aspect of is the emergent care that you have, uh, you know, alluded to. Um, you know, one in four uh, uh, deaths in America are still with uh, cardiovascular disease, uh, and that's many, many fold uh, than uh, COVID infection. Uh, so if you have uh, symptoms of uh, heart attack, if you have symptoms of congestive heart failure, or if you're feeling palpitations, uh, please don't hesitate to seek immediate care. Uh, some of these uh, conditions are very time critical. Uh, you know, a patient who comes to the hospital within four hours of having chest pain has much better outcome than a patient, you know, who stays four days at home. Um, the second aspect is uh, the ongoing care of chronic heart conditions. Uh, we have uh, multiple options available where we are doing telephone encounters, we are doing telehealth encounters uh, to, uh, you know, uh, get care to the patients while they are still at, at the comfort and safety of their homes. Uh, so I encourage patients to, uh, you know, uh, use that option uh, and, uh, uh, and not hesitate to seek care when, uh, uh, there is, uh, if they feel that there is anything emergent. Okay, the American Heart Association reporting decreasing numbers of heart attacks and strokes showing up at hospitals during this pandemic. That doesn't mean there was a decrease in those events actually happening, right? No, that's a very good uh, question that you ask. Uh, you know, data out of Italy says that, you know, they have noticed 80% decrease in the number of heart attacks uh, that presented to the, uh, the hospital. And today there was an article in NEGM which said that the number of cardiac arrests in Italy uh, went up by 55%. So uh, unfortunately, because of the fear of coming to the hospital, patients are staying home and having, uh, you know, uh, bad outcomes. Uh, my fear as a cardiologist when, you know, all this is said and done is that the death toll from non-COVID uh, causes is going to far uh, outnumber the COVID-related deaths. Yeah, I mean, you, you bring up that statistic and that's, that's pretty scary. That many people are having those type of events and not seeking help. Yeah, and uh, uh, I think one of the important things, you know, and, and this conversation that we are having today, uh, uh, you know, uh, is that, you know, assuring the patients that it is safe to come, you know, in coming to the hospital um, and that both uh, hospitals and healthcare professionals are taking every precaution in, uh, uh, in uh, trying to keep our patients safe. Got it. So elective yep. procedures back on the table. What does that mean specifically for patients? So uh, from the patient's perspective, uh, you know, uh, at St. Mark's Hospital, we are doing COVID tests on all our patients. Um, you know, that uh, is an important step in uh, uh, making sure that the healthcare professionals who are caring for those patients, uh, you know, are safe. 
Uh, we have also made some changes to certain procedures uh, as far as the duration of the stay goes, uh, not, uh, you know, um, keeping the patients overnight, doing some same-day discharges, trying to minimize the exposure of these patients to, um, uh, you know, uh, potential uh, COVID patients. Uh, what I would encourage patients to do is to talk to their cardiologist uh, and, uh, you know, discuss their uh, symptoms uh, and uh, uh, come up with a plan that they're comfortable with uh, in, uh, you know, uh, getting those elective procedures done. Yeah, all right, uh, Dr. Bamsi Yaganti, cardiologist with uh, St. Mark's. Thank you so much for your time and information. Very important tonight, thank you. Okay, thank you.